Hi, this is Bob TV, and I'm lactose intolerant. Thanks, Amanda. Today on the My Gear, more bass. 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 This is my 1991 Yamaha BB200 four-string bass. No! I've owned this bass for a long time. If I remember right, I bought it for $100 from a friend in high school. That was over 20 years ago. Holy f I'm getting old. It's a solid bass, and it sounds pretty good. I used to use this bass in Imperium Plague when I first joined back in 2004. I would run the tone knob all the way down to get a sort of vintage tone in a black metal band. Yep. It sort of sounded like this. And with the tone knob all the way up, it sounds like this. Now a couple years ago, I upgraded the pickups to DeMarzio's and they definitely sound better than before. 60 bucks well spent, but still doesn't sound as good as my Schecter 5 string. I have it tuned to D sharp, which is D sharp, G sharp, C sharp, F sharp. And currently, I have it strung with Diderio EXL160 TP strings. 50 to 105. Man, the special effects in this are good. At some point, I will upgrade the strap locks. That's about it. Pretty basic. Pretty good. Don't do it! Today on the Matic, my Ubiquity Network Switch. Okay, so if you watched my last video, and you should have, this bit of tech goes along with my router slash firewall. And it's basically a network cable splitter, but an intelligent one that also powers my wireless access points. More on that in another video. So what this does is it takes all your wired devices, like computers, video games, network attached storage, and connects them together. But it does more than that. It's smart enough to balance the traffic of all the devices and make sure that network traffic doesn't cause any 40 car pileups. Unlike the 401, it has eight gigabit speed ethernet ports and four of those have power over ethernet, which sends, you guessed it, power over ethernet cable to my access points, which are basically Wi-Fi antennas you deploy throughout your house. More on that in another video. As with the router, this is overkill for most people. And the router you get from Amazon will probably have four or eight ports built in. But hey, I wanted the Humvee of network switches. Wait! Today on the My Music. Another slamming, brutal death metal band. Analepsy from Portugal. As I mentioned before, there are a million crappy bands in any genre, and a few good ones. And in my opinion, Analepsy is a good one. They have catchy, interesting slam riffs, and vocals that range from guttural to brie style. Well, that's enough for anyone to check them out. What I think really sets them apart is the extremely high production value of their 2017 release, Atrocities from Beyond. Holy crap on a cracker, the sound quality on this release is incredible. This was recorded, produced, mixed, and mastered at Demigod Recordings. And the drums were recorded at Knox Messer Studios, both in Portugal. <laughs> both in Portugal. Oh man, that sounds good. They also released the Cranialepsy split in 2017 and Dehumanization by Supremacy in 2015. I have not heard those. Oh! Last on my Chanel's, The Recording Revolution. 
Another recording and mixing tutorial channel. This one's focused on producing music for the radio, which is the antithesis of what I do. However, the methods for recording and mixing are pretty much universal, with some exceptions, and I like how Mr. Graham Cochran teaches. He uses Pro Tools, I use Reaper, but the concepts are transferable. Another benefit to watching this channel is his emphasis on foregoing expensive gear and leaning heavily on writing great songs and capturing a great performance with budget gear. Well, that's my show. Episode 10, baby! Stay tuned, stay buried.